in previous parts. With this vehicle, it's not okay with this pump. You need a special tool or the coolant. It's to be disassembled. The answer is yes. It's only this one pipe over here. And coolant and camshaft moment of truth okay this cylinder three and part four with assembling looking like nothing difficult the grease for the gasket cylinder head let's throw them down first all other bolts so add some oil assembly everything else and that's it thank you very much And now you need to push this knob in this direction, direction to the cylinder block, and rotate plastic hose anti-clockwise, which is easier to do when this hose is still in place. So push this knob. And rotate. I'm replacing the thermostat because you always need to replace it if the engine was overheated. And here you go. And now move up, left, right, it doesn't matter. Easily. ring it will fit only in one position new thermostat o ring 94 degree temperature of opening clean surface new thermo back in place you can set it like this just lubricate it with coolant or some silicon grease And it's in place and also you need to clean holes for the cylinder head bolts because there can be oil some oil and when you side these bolts it can flow out and under the gasket which is not very good so i pressurize and take manifold and everything seems to be okay at least on the cold yeah. well inspection of the intake manifold should have been in the part three but it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is really that's to for extra coating cover this area of the oil Usually there's no need to use additional sealant on the MLS gasket, but I was using this copper spray sealant on a couple of other engines and everything works just fine. And should you use it? Well, I don't know. It's up to you. Now I wait uh, five, maybe two, five minutes and get another coat and then we'll do other side. Other side doing basically the same. It's not uh, that I'm not trusting the manufacturer of the head gasket, but this happens. And also this sealant stays tacky like for a day. Still will be. It will have this effect. This is how you can check valve guides.
valve seal. You can install valve seals in this way or in this. Some oil side. And 10 mil socket. And you can push it all the way down to see if it sits tight. Make it slightly smash it with the hammer. And you will hear this sound. Very bright sound. Just push, push. And push. The valves are lapped to their seats and now installed. I didn't record how I lapped valves, but basically it was like that. Lapping compound on our valve. And lapping, you just rotate it like this. Because as you do this, the sound changes. Lubricate valve stem before installation. And as you can see, surface of the cylinder head was machined. But they not recommend you to do so that. So you need to know that these springs have green markings from the factory. This green. And maybe it doesn't matter because top and the bottom of the spring are the same size, but this side with green paint goes down. So the retainer is on top and bottom of the spring with green paint going down. Just a little bit oil. And now keepers. Keepers back in place. Slightly smash valves with handle of the hammer. So everything will sit tight. Tight, 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 tight. Really? I clean it one piston just in case if you need some serial numbers. Small arrow on the piston points to the timing belt. I want to see if this handmade timing mark matches to the TDC for the cylinder 1 and 4 from one of my previous video about 1.6 to 0 .0 TDI EA288 engine. And if engine. you don't have any tool for the crankshaft gear, you can mark position of the timing gear with a paint marker. So it goes like this from this spot count 9 teeth and mark 9 tooth with paint. Then you can align it with this spot on the ceiling flange and this will be the timing mark. So let's see if that 9 tooth on the gear matches with TDC. Gauge to the zero. Set up to the zero. And I will rotate engine. Crankshaft, as you can see, arrow moves, and here it stops and moves, and at this point it's total zero. Okay. Perfectly aligned. Note, do not use sandpaper or any abrasive media. So the manual says that you don't have to remove dark spots on the cylinder block, but I need this clean surface. So I covered these oil channels and it's better to cover also colon channels and holes for the bolts and inside of the cylinders. First I scrape the surface from the old gasket and then I have part of the precision ruler in here. I have sandpaper. Sandpaper with grit P1000 or P1200, not lower than that. So lubricate and with some oil. 
I was moving this precision ruler gently under its own weight and without putting any pressure on it to not break the edges of the holes for coolant and oil. Surface have been degreased, clean it and everything else. Time for the gasket. This is how you can determine what thickness of head gasket to choose. It fits only in one position. Before installation of the cylinder head, set up pistons below TDC, top dead center. Cylinder head. And right before that, you can take old bolts, cut top of those bolts and use them as a doubles if you want. It will be easier to install cylinder head. Lubricate a little bit bolts, treat of the bolt, and under the washer, and install all bolts. You should install new bolts for the cylinder head. Now stroke them down easily. until you feel some resistance okay now just look if everything is correct and now torque first 30 and then try to rotate torque wrench without stopping until it clicks or beeps so you will have more correct tightening torque next 70 Mark position of the bolt and 90 degrees. And here you go. You're gonna turn to this point three times 90 degrees. One and all other bolts. And you always will know did you turn to this degree this bolt or not just when someone interrupt or you need to leave or anything else and in the end it will be looking like that and now i will erase every paint all back in place well lifters So I remove the ceiling of the camshaft and this way. There are signs telling you that you need to install outside. This side is outside. This way. No oil needed. Instead. Important, the PTFE all seal must be installed dry. In order to guarantee that the PTFE oil seal will optimally perform its function, a minimum four hours should pass after assembly and before the shaft is moved or rotated. Just nice and easy. You can use old sealing as a spacer. outside Germany applying sealant on the surface of the camshafts housing degrees surface and then apply sealant and applying sealant only on the perimeter of the camshaft housing still back in place
any marks. Also correct. Install bolts and throw them down. 10 nm. Just slightly move from the center to the sides. This side. Now torque them down with specific torque 10 nm. And you can see how the sealant have been spreaded. Inside, there is no need to remove this extra from the surface. Just leave it as it is. And make sure that every rocker is in place, every lifter. And then you just add some oil and assemble everything else. Check of the PCV valve. Now PCV valve. Let's look inside. Everything is fine, still elastic, no damage, cracks or anything, okay, membrane in this plastic cup, then spring, Okay, and this side down. And before you add new oil or oil at all, Better to take off rubber ring around the oil cap and clean from any dirt. So none of this crap gets into the engines. The fucking I don't know. This is not about summertime in the city at all. That's really the raw disturbing thought. Well, nothing can clean. And take manifold just like a diesel fuel from all this dirt, those gases and oil. And yes, maybe you have some dirty spots, but it's nothing comparing to the how it was. As an old school attorney, so you can learn me. Fucking, I don't know. This is not about summertime in the city at all. 